another nature journal video. So last time we talked about um, flower pressing and you know all different methods of making prints in your nature journal and I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about another method today. This one's kind of fun but you need to make sure you do it outside somewhere safe. Um, it's very sunny and very humid today in my backyard. So I found a little shady spot. So um, I'm gonna do it right here on my little concrete slab. But I've collected a bunch of different specimens this morning and some flower heads and some mint leaves and a clover. And I've got a pea pod from my garden and some berries from the different wild berries that grow around me. Um, but this is a real simple activity. The only thing you need are a couple sheets of paper and a hammer. <laughs> and it's called flower pounding or hammer pressed flowers. And we're going to very simply take a flower head and place it on my paper here. And then I'm going to sandwich it kind of like I did the others. And I'm going to hammer the flower. And that's gonna cause the natural dyes in the flowers to transfer to my paper. So it's very simple and kind of fun to do. So I want you to go ahead and try that if you can get your hands on a hammer. Remember, don't pick your neighbor's flowers without permission. Um, hopefully you grow your own or you can find some wild flowers on the side of the road. But it works with leaves as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the leaves in here along with the rest of the flowers. And I'm just gonna hammer. All over my page here. Now, if you're doing this inside, please don't do it on anything you're worried about damaging, like a glass tabletop. We don't want anything to happen to your furniture or your countertops. So it leaves these cool little impressions on your page. And then actually the texture of my concrete slab got onto my paper as well. But that's what it looks like. Um, don't know how well you can see all the textures and things. It's a very simple project for today. You just hammer some flowers and leaves um, to create this awesome, you know, natural dye prints on your papers there. Um, I wouldn't do it directly in your journal because you could damage your journal. You want to keep that looking nice. Um, and then I gathered the berries today because another thing you can do is when you're out looking at nature and exploring and besides eating the berries, berries of course have a natural dye to them as well. The juices can be used to stain different things. Um, or paint different things. So I've got this wild black raspberry here and I'm gonna go ahead and smear it on my page because I want to see what the juices look like on a piece of paper. Um, you know, and then I can make note of it that berries were ripe this week and they taste delicious and I see all the chipmunks eating them. Um, the same thing with this boysenberry just gently rub it into my journal and you can see the color difference right there. So I can make note of that later when it dries. 
Um, that's the great thing about journals. They're used to make observations. Now, some of the things that I've put in your kit are like graph paper, and you'll see that little mini ruler that I gave you. And those are great for like, say um, my peas are finally starting to get ripe in the garden. I love sweet peas. Um, they're so fresh and yummy. And maybe I'm gonna take my little ruler and I'm gonna measure how big the pea pods are when they're finally ready to eat. Um, and I might make an entry of that in my journal. So again, remember you can do anything you want to your journal. You just need to get out there, make observations. Um, I'm listening to all the birds go a little crazy this morning. Maybe I'll write another poem about them. I wrote one about a blue jay a while back. Um, so that's your assignment. I want you to try some flower pounding. See if you get some cool um, indentations and prints made. Remember, don't pound any flowers or leaves that you want to save. Um, that's better for the other methods of pressing um, because this will destroy your specimens. Um, you will not have a beautiful pressed flower afterwards, but you'll have some pretty awesome um, natural designs to add to your journal. Um, so I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're having fun with your journal and uh, I look forward to speaking with you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.